So the long hours of study, the endless board exams, the long training, and finally, the excessive amount of debt. What's so good about being a doctor? In this video, guys, I'm gonna hit on 10 positive aspects of being a physician that I think you guys will really enjoy. We're gonna get to those after this intro. All right, guys, what is going on? Lux here for the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the top 10 reasons, top positive aspects of why you should become a doctor. A lot of you guys enjoyed a recent video I made about why I went into internal medicine and why you should too, but I know a lot of you guys aren't at that phase of your journey, so we're gonna make a kind of overall general uh, video about why you should become a physician. We're gonna hit on the top 10, so let's get into it. So the first aspect, and this is the one we talk about a lot, is that you're going to be able to take care of people at their most vulnerable times. You're going to be helping people that are going to be at the verge of death or it comes to your clinic with a very anxious and stressful question. And when you walk in with a white coat and your you know, dress attire, they're going to put 100% of their trust in you. I don't know of very many professions that that is true. And to be able to walk in and constantly change lives and complete uh, lives of complete strangers is truly incredible. Um, you're not going to always be saving lives every single day, um, and not in every profession at least, but you are going to be making an impact. And that's the reason a lot of us or most of us get into medicine is to help people. But you're going to be able to help them to even further extent that you probably put in your personal statement applying to medical school or applying to residency. Once you're part of the healthcare team, you're going to realize how small things can make such a big difference in the lives of your patients. And as a care provider, you're going to try to do more and more to make it even bigger impact. So helping your patients and literally saving lives and changing lives is obviously number one when it comes to positive aspects of being a physician. Now, number two, I wouldn't be doing it justice if I didn't cover this, but you have financial stability and job security as a doctor, especially in the United States. After you finish residency, you're at least guaranteed to make anywhere from $180,000 to $250,000, depending on the specialty you go into. More procedural based specialties obviously will be making more and things that are more clinic based will be making less. And that's just how it is. And in addition to just making a good income, there's obviously a job security factor. You're going to be able to find a job as a doctor, regardless of where you go. People are always in need of a physician. And so regardless, if you're moving to a different place or you're moving uh, out of a current position, you're going to be able to find a, uh, a new job. And that's just uh, the feeling of having that security is truly immeasurable. So positive aspect number three is just having a sense of respect in society. People will respect physicians and healthcare providers and kind of like the upper echelon of all professions. You are not only seen as a hard worker, you're seen somebody that just contributes to society as very intelligent, has worked hard to get there and they value you. And again, they trust you. And so as you walk in, uh, people don't typically understand that how the human body works and what's going on, especially when they're sick. And for you to be able to help them, regardless of how small or uh, big the condition is, uh, is a big deal for them. And so you look like a big deal as well. And so just having that respect in society where you can just say, oh, you know, I'm a physician or I'm a doctor, people just have a different impression of you when they hear that. Now, positive aspect number four is the flexibility. Now, although you go through a lot of years of training and studying to get to where you need to be to become a doctor, you can quickly switch in and out of career paths. And that doesn't mean that a cardiologist can suddenly go and, you know, become an OB guy and that requires a lot more training, but that cardiologist can work in the hospital setting and do a lot of procedures and then realize, you know, a couple of years later that he's just not interested or she is not interested in doing that anymore. And again, and can then switch to working in a clinic or uh, teaching um, or giving lectures. So the possibilities in medicine, where you live, what you do, how you practice, how many hours you practice, it's all flexible. And so to have that after so many hours of work that you put into it is gratifying. So aspect number five is continued personal and career growth. Medicine is synonymous with this idea of lifelong learning. Regardless if you finish four years of medical school, you don't remember everything. I promise you I don't. Um, and when I finish residency, I'm not gonna remember everything there either. You get the ability to constantly kind of repeat things and eventually it comes and it stays in great memory. You become a better version of that physician. You interact with more patients, you know how to become a better communicator. And aside from just medicine, going through all this hardship and going through all these struggles, you become a better version of yourself. You become a more hard worker, you become more efficient, you become more productive, and you just look at things differently. Especially, for example, if you work with patients who are terminal or are at the end of their life, you have a different respect 
for life itself. You take more pride in your own life, the lives of your kids, the lives of your family. And so all of that is just more personal and career growth that happens throughout your career and it never stops. And so again, another positive aspect of becoming a doctor. So item number six is something you know, but people, people just don't talk about. And that's the idea that you just have a better understanding of your own health. Um, I understand how the body works. I understand how the muscles now work. I you know, can understand what medications I should take when I have a cough and what medications really won't make a difference. And so I can use that to make sure my body's at tip top shape. I know how I should be working out, how long I need to be working out, how long I need to be sleeping, what I need to be eating, what I don't need to be eating. Um, that's a different story. And so understanding how the body works obviously is used to help our patients, but we can use that same knowledge to make sure that our bodies and our lives are also improved. All right, so let's start wrapping up last few tips. So item number seven is really being able to make a true impact in society. Not every profession has the ability to like immediately make some kind of change that can really dramatically impact people on a, a state level, a national level, and definitely an international level. That's very hard to do. But in medicine, you can be involved in research. You can be involved in finding new diseases, new diagnoses, uh, new treatments. You can also be involved in creating community outreach programs where you're working with people and patients who otherwise wouldn't have came to the hospital because they can't afford it or they just don't have the insurance. And so taking care of those individuals, you can make an impact there. You can truly impact society based off your knowledge, based off your skills, and just a little bit of your time. So the last three aspects are honestly my favorite and you deserve a like for making it this far in the video. And maybe give this video a like if you're here already. Um, but number eight is honestly the reason or my why of going into medicine. And that's the ability to impact complete strangers. Here's what I mean. Imagine that you were my doctor and imagine I was your hospital patient that was there for a week, really bad infection. You took care of it. When you return me back to my society, you not only impacted me through your efforts, you impacted everybody that's dependent on me for anything. For example, my spouse now has her husband back, you know, my family now has their son back, et cetera, et cetera. My employer finally has their employee back, things of that sort. So when you take care of the patient, you're not only just taking care of them, but everybody around them that's dependent on them. That's like so impactful. That's what I like to call my web of influence. You know, when people, when I was young, took care of my parents and my brother, when they were sick, were able to put them back into my life so that I could enjoy their presence. So make sure you understand that you're impacting so many people more so than you think you are um, as a physician. So that's definitely item number eight. Now, item number nine is the ability to combine both emotional and intellectual intelligence. So you can obviously be a really smart person and be a terrible doctor. It's because you can retain information, but you can't connect with people. And you can also connect with people and be very empathetic, but suck when it comes to actually helping people and apply that knowledge. Medicine and being a doctor requires you to combine both. So if you're somebody that enjoys being smart, but also talking and interacting with individuals and helping them, then medicine is for you. And that's one of the biggest positive aspects of being a physician. And then finally, just to wrap it up, this is probably my favorite, although number eight was my why. Number 10, the positive aspect is you learn a different definition of hard work. Now this doesn't just mean that you're a harder worker when you're a doctor. Every phase of your medical journey, when you're in high school and you're trying to get into a really good college, when you're in college and you're trying to go through your pre-med classes and you're actually worrying about your GPA while your classmates are doing well, you know, not. Um, and when you're in medical school, you have to work even harder to get to the point. Your definition of how hard you can work changes through each phase of your journey. And it's not something that you should look at a negative, but it's something that you should have a positive because then you take medicine aside and everything you have to work hard in, whether it's your relationships, where it's something else, another project you're working on, you work harder than almost every other person on those things because you're used to doing it. It's your natural state. And honestly, it's my positive aspect because everything I work on, people think that I'm at like a machine level state. But no, medical school is just trained you to want to do things at a different level than other people are used to. And it's honestly going to lead you to do better things outside of medicine, in your personal life, in your relationships, you name it. So, you know, you learn a different definition of hard work each phase of the journey. All right, guys, but those were my 10 positive aspects of being a physician. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did make the end of this video, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you guys have more questions and more topics you want me to make a video about, please let me know in the comment section down below. But thank you guys as always for making it to this video or making it to the end. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Take care, guys.